What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Dugar, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Dugar. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about the, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles have traded for former LSU cornerback Kerry Vincent Jr. And also the Eagles tried aggressively to move defensive tackle Fletcher Cox, but ultimately couldn't do it. And he's going to remain with the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, um, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your bar. Also, if you a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Um, y'all gonna hear a beeping noise throughout the video, so, um, please disregard that and I apologize for the inconvenience. And y'all get at me on that mad, man. Uh, first I'm gonna start off with the Eagles trading for Kerry Vincent Jr. from the Denver Broncos, I think for like a six-round pick or something like that. Um, interesting move. Clearly I know a lot about Kerry Vincent Jr. Uh, two years ago, um, he was a, a vital part in the secondary for the LSU Tigers that had arguably the best college football team in the history of college football. Uh, made a few interceptions that year. Um, one of them, his most notable inter interception, ironically, was against for, uh, current Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts when he was at Oklahoma in the national um, semifinal game. A uh, guy with a lot of speed, has a, runs, runs very, very well, uh, but he's a smaller corner. He's more of a slot guy. He's short, um, and he's not very big, but he can run pretty fast, and he has good ball skills. Um, Avante Maddox, I feel like, was doing a good job in the slot, and he very well may continue to be the, the starting nickel corner, but he's going to be a free agent after the season. So it makes you wonder, do they look at Kerry Vincent Jr. as the heir apparent to him? Do they look at him more as a special teams person? Um, those are questions that we're going to find the answers to, um, you know, sooner than later. But it was an inter interesting move for the Eagles when I expected them to be more sellers than buyers, if anything. Uh, and speaking of sellers, the Eagles reportedly tried to aggressively trade Fletcher Cox away but ultimately a deal didn't get done. Now, what's the ramp? What's the, the details? We're not quite sure yet. Did the, did Howie ask for too much in return? Um, did the teams try to lowball Howie? Whatever the case may be, Fletcher Cox don't remain a Philadelphia Eagle. Um, I'm not surprised that we attempted to trade him because, for one, we're a team that's kind of in rebuild mode. We're a younger team. Fletcher Cox has a big salary cap number. Uh, also, he's, a, he's, he's above 30 years old. And when you look at it, um, apparently he's not very fond of Jonathan Gannon and his defensive scheme. Uh, he made some comments after the Las Vegas Raiders loss that, you know, he's used to being more aggressive and he's now in a scheme where he's expected to just sit back and let things happen um, and react more than attack. Uh, and also, he also made a comment like to say he don't get paid to cover screens, which is Something, honestly, that you don't want to hear from a guy that you're paying well over $100 million to. That all combined with the fact that where there's the scheme, where there's a decline from his play, he's been very unproductive this season. Like, he hasn't really made any plays this year. Um, so when you combine all that together, I could definitely understand why the Philadelphia Eagles, you know, tried to make the move to remove him. Um, I'm curious to know what Howie Roseman was asking in return. Did he ask for a first or second round pick? I'm curious to know who were the teams that really were calling about him. Um, but those are things that we probably going to find out um, more and more as time goes on. But uh, for the time being, like Fletcher Cox and, and, and these guys, Fletcher, Clark, Fletcher, Fletcher Cox, Andre Dillard, guys that you heard may, may possibly be on the trading block, they all gonna be here. Like they all gonna remain with the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, so look, the Eagles three and sit at three and five right now. They actually have a realistic shot to make a run for the seventh wild, uh, the seventh playoff spot. Um, due to the fact that the schedule gonna be a little softer the rest of the way. Um, so we'll see, man. Uh, but with that being said, yo, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. 
Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content from my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.